Hello there. Are you a rational individual? Well, can you tell the difference between a rational theory and an irrational one? <laughs> well, that's a bit subjective. How about if we define irrational objectively? Well, let's begin with an analogy to see if that's true. You've probably heard of the tale of the emperor's new clothes, right? Turns out that a powerful emperor was hoodwinked by two swindlers he hired to make a robe for him. The phony tailors went through the motions of weaving invisible yarn and thread. They led the monarch to believe that only smart people who deserved their jobs could see the garment. The sovereign sent each of his ministers, one by one, to see the making of his new clothes and to report to him on its beauty. Fearful that others might discover their incompetence, each of these officials praised a suit that wasn't there. Even the king himself marveled at the splendor of the inexistent robe when he saw it. The emperor ended up wearing the invisible clothes during a public ceremony and parading himself nude in front of the crowds. It took a little kid to break the spell when he sneered that the emperor was stark naked. Now imagine a juggler throwing around invisible pins in the air. Or a mime that juggles inexistent balls. Or a theorist that pretends to be juggling pins and balls when he's actually juggling abstract mathematical concepts. Like the tailors, the theorist is deceiving you. He winks and leads you to believe that he transfers energy or that he moved a mass from A to B, or that he bends time. But all of these are concepts. How does he move these mathematical concepts around? It's just a bogus explanation, a repeat of the emperor's new clothes tale. So, an irrational theory is one where the theorist pretends to be handling objects when he is actually throwing mathematical concepts around in the air. Now that is as irrational as it gets.